Well, here goes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the technical test of Rogue Life, my new live stream series, which should hopefully be uh, bi weekly, as in twice weekly, not a as in once every two weeks. But who knows how it'll start, because after all, the first time you do anything, you have no idea how subsequent times will go. Uh, right now, we're testing lighting and sound and stuff like that. And now that I'm seeing the stream is actually live on the other side, I'm gonna give it a good old college try to maybe turn down my audio levels ever so slightly since I'm popping the mic a bit and also to in general actually look at the chat so I've got the chat up and running now so uh, today we're gonna actually be playing Ender the Gungeon uh, because it's easy to start with things that you know and uh, generally that's uh, gonna keep me from going quite mad um, this is a test. It's not going to last very long. Usually I'll be playing for approximately one hour. i um, going to try this to make this a regular thing every Tuesday and Thursday. But let's see how this, how this dog rolls. Do dogs roll? I don't think dogs roll. Dogs don't really roll. So, let's go to the big cam. Let's see, uh, let's see if I can get murdered by bullets that shoot bullets in some sort of horrific game world that's kind of bullet eating. Um, I'm gonna take votes later as to uh, what to be, but for right now, since the chat's dead, since I literally started without announcing anything, uh, I'm gonna bring along uh, my little puppy dog here. Hello, little puppy dog. For those of you that are not familiar with Enter the Gungeon, it's a relatively recent roguelike. Uh, by relatively recent, I do mean about as recent as they come, uh, since it's only a week or so old. Uh, in which you uh, go into a gun-themed uh, dungeon uh, and you shoot bullets at bullets. Uh, it's pretty creative. They've got a lot of interesting touches. I've kind of assumed that this is uh, going to foreshadow something. Can I actually read this? Kill your past. You've already damned your future. The rest is worn away. Oh, shoot. That's not a hardcore voice. Anyway. I like that my only option is to turn away. Oh, it's adorable! It's... Oh, God! It, it threw the N letter at me. That one can't spell. That's just a, a spell slinger, so they just send shapes. The uh, shotgun guys are actually pretty neat. I don't know what causes them to explode versus not explode, because they do sometimes not explode. Maybe if you shoot them at the right time or something, I'm going to have to... I could look that up, but I feel like that's cheating inside of uh, a lot of roguelikes. Uh, in a lot of ways, and particularly since I'm not really trying to get very far in this. I am just testing the technicalities of my recording setup. Uh, right now, I'm not seeing any audio from the game. That sounds bad. Let me uh, see if I can do something about that. Uh, let's open the audio mixer. This is uh, this is what normal humans do, right? Enter the Gungeon actually has sound uh, in my audio mixer. So uh, let's get back to it and uh, see if there's any sound now. Let's see if there's sound now. Oh, thanks. Oh, Enter the Gungeon, why do you treat me like this? I even previewed you and everything before playing the game. Uh, let's see whether the audio setting is from the desktop. Let's see, that does it. I hate everything about you, game. I hate everything about you. Let's see what else I can do to uh, try to get that fixed. How do you feel now? Oh, you've got audio now, jerk. Uh... Okay, we're gonna have to go with that. Uh, I'm still popping the mic a bit, adjusting. Let's resume. This is uh, an exciting uh, day for video gamedom and for Trick Dempsey in particular. 
now, for avid fans of the Cricket Thimble and all other products uh, Dempsey related, oh god, uh, you may notice that I'm going to be doing a lot of roguelike streams. Uh, I'm also going to stream some pretty other, some strange other things. Uh, assuming it's not banned from YouTube gaming, I'm probably actually going to start streaming Neko Para soon, uh, which will be funny and kind of its own special way. Um, I don't really know the purpose of uh, streaming a visual novel, uh, though I do think that more people should probably play it, which is a strange thing to say about what is definitely a pervy cat girl game, but whatever, it's very lovingly crafted and deeply, deeply sexist. Um, but I'm hoping to A, discover that I'm wrong about some of my assumptions about the game, but also generally just uh, that it, it turns out to not be a smudge in my career that I that I enjoy it. Um, oh god! So you can dodge and do all sorts of smart things, like I feel like there's going to be a lot of perfect plays of uh, Enter the Gungeon going and people are going to be like, oh I got to level 40 or something, I literally have no idea how far this game goes. Uh, $22, it's just not impressing this guy right now. And by dollars, I do mean uh, space bucks, uh, the currency of the future being bullets, uh, because this is actually just a, a time traveling sort of secret from uh, 2016 after the uh, world ends. And uh, all money is uh, replaced with, uh, with bullets. Full of shells. Uh, it is kind of sad that I just said 2016, uh, because that still sounds like the future to me. And, uh, god, what are we gonna do even? Time just keeps going forward and I'm not happy about that. Uh, that is a brown box. It, it's never good. It's never worth the, uh, the key that it takes to open. Uh, I don't have to take forever getting anywhere, because I can just go here. Now, that was really helpful. Uh, the map actually just told me that in this room, a life a health thing got dropped. And it persists. I'd kind of assume those would disappear, a la, like, leaving your shit behind in Zelda. But who knew? Wow. Well, I thought it was worth it. So, uh, for those of you uh, paying attention, yes, if you run into a bullet, you take damage. Whether that bullet is a flying bullet or if it's just, you know... A dude standing around. I would say that it's unrealistic, but I am a guy shooting guns at bullets. So, what do I know about realism? I know that this is inefficient, but whatever. Okay. Hail of bullets, definitely more uh, satisfying than my individual shots. Oh, really? Look, kid. Not that it's a kid. I mean, it looks adorable and small, but that doesn't. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, little doji. Oh, nice. It's weird that so many of the, the decorations actually uh, stop bullets. Because um, it's easy to get yourself kind of fooled into thinking that you've got a great deal more fuck with that. Uh clear shots than you actually have. Huh. Hey guys! What? Do I have a special item? I don't! Man, I really wish I did have an item. Uh, still... Grr! If I don't start getting uh, good loot here, it's gonna be really sad when I get to the boss, because um, I think I've beaten two of the bosses in this? No, 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 don't! Uh, two of the bosses in this game, uh, none of them are easy. Uh, though clearly some of them are easier than others. Oh. Where is it? I'll take it. Now, am I only seeing those because I brought Doge with me, or does everybody get to see those? You can answer my questions in the chat by actually existing in the chat. Time to face the music. The awesome music, who I keep assuming is Danny B, but I don't think Danny B did the music for this game. Hey, it's Gun Bros! Isn't that a mobile title? 
Oh, they're the trigger twins. Who would have known? Fuck. I actually assume it's like more worth my time to concentrate on one rather than the other. But also, generally, to just get really good at. Fuck. Hill shit going on here. Oh no. Okay, so uh as many of you might know, I'm not super good at bullet hells. I'm actually really, really bad at them. Uh the past still haunts you. I wonder what that means. Huh. I like having uh, magic items, so I'm actually gonna pick character who starts with one. Uh, I don't know what his radio does. I can look it up, or I can find out the hard way. Who votes for hard way? I think I vote for hard way. Okay, so I've only got my primary weapon. I've got my radio. Which if I use, nothing happens. Okay, now I have to look it up. Calls in an ammo drop. Interesting. So I ran out of ammo all the time when I was playing it earlier, but this dude essentially doesn't run out of ammo. That's exciting. Oh, I just need a gun that consumes ammo. Also, his uh, gun is surprisingly accurate. Um, which kind of assumes that I'll ever hit even the broadside of a barn, but, you know, whatevs. Just casually walk into the room like a boss. Is that it? Huh. Ah, that's all you got. That's not much. Love the decorator here. Doesn't believe in chairs, really believes in tables. Nobody sits in this universe, they're all just like, fuck that, fuck sitting. And also, I guess that is a bench, so I shouldn't really make fun of them. I mean, none of these guys seem to have feet. Oh, ow, god. Hey, they got little, little bullet feet. Try not to think of what that would look like in real life, but I mean, what am I talking about? Those are... <sighs> So, uh, if anybody didn't know why I'm sighing, uh, the brown chests don't give very good items, and keys are actually really hard to come by. Uh, oh, oh god, it's a bird vomiting up death. Ugh, just like real birds. Oh. oh. I'm doing too good to need your power ups. Yeah, dungeon, what you got? I don't have a hat. I like hats, but, but mine's gone now. Huh? Huh? I'm just going so Boom! Probably don't need to actually make sound effects for the game, because that's silly and stupid, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because I like it. Uh, so anyway, as far as the schedule goes right now, uh, I'm probably going to be doing this twice a week. Uh, I'm going to try to work my way up to doing, you know, an hour per each session. Uh, I'm going to be playing roguelikes almost exclusively, or uh, things that were inspired by roguelikes, which is going to actually contain some pretty strange things. Um, not many people are particularly familiar with, like, the fact that, like, even Diablo was originally a roguelike and actually contains many of its elements. Um, in many ways, it's a lot, like, one of the more straightforward adaptations of the roguelike concept. It's just that it doesn't have, uh, the usual death penalty for a roguelike. Oh, what? What's this gonna say? 
is offering the rest is blank. Well, I can't give you anything because I don't believe in other guns, apparently. Um, so I'm probably going to, like, for example, next month, I think, going to do a special of going through XCOM 2 for the first time, uh, since uh, XCOM in many ways is uh, one of the most sort of early successful... That was that was into the bullets, not away from the bullets. One of the early successful roguelikes. Oh, he's going to destroy the one working, like, reasonably placed bench in the entire dungeon. I wish I had a squirt gun. Don't, don't pick your nose on camera, Trick. It's bad for business. Hmm. Tutorial text. Who would have guessed? What's this? Okay. I could take it. I could buy a key. It just seems really inefficient. Anyway. Uh, so, for now, I'm going to be playing some standard ones. Uh, I hope to get into Duskers. Duskers may not go well, though, because you actually have to process language while playing, because you have to type all of your instructions. Uh, so, I don't know how that's going to actually go, since uh, keeping up a pattern of speech while uh, trying to type language is probably going to result in gobbledygook or repeating myself greatly, or quite possibly talking to the uh, robots as though they were my pets, which would be the best possible outcome. Uh, ooh! Um, uh, well, why not? I'm certainly not going to regret leaving that behind. the exit. Well, there's only one place it could be. The proximity mine actually drops at my feet. I'm going to be super peeved. Hey! Surprise! Literally the last door. I'm sure this will be fine, right? Right, guys? I can do this? I really don't want to. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, he just set the ground on fire. Wow! Eh, I, I attempted to be cool. Sure, uh, let's drop the item now. Did a bunch of damage. Uh, hey, it comes back pretty quick, actually. Uh,. Sweet. Oh, that's not bad. Mm. This is not looking very good for me. Ha! Ah, blanks! You're firing blanks! Take that, Bullet King. Aren't you... Go back to Destiny! Oh, sorry, Division. I always get those two confused for some reason. It's almost like they're really, really similar games. Phew! That was some perfectly good wine. Also, why do you have one that's flammable? Oh! Oh, God! Oh. I've got appendicitis, what am I gonna do? Oh, somebody just shot my... Oh. My appendix out. Great, thanks. Uh. No. I'm certain I'll be fine. I'll be fine, right? Couldn't... Couldn't go, like... Really badly. Okay, so I'm gonna do the marine again, uh, then I'll get probably swap into the convict. Uh, the convict, my secret favorite, because I like shotguns. Um, and women of questionable moral character. Some of the things that I just said were true, some of them weren't. I forgot which one's which. So when I first heard the concept of this game, Okay, I was... Uh, I thought it was pretty... What is going on? What are they? What, what, what are they? What are they? What are they? Well, when you shoot them enough, they die, so... Uh, I don't know what that was. It said that, that table didn't need that thing. <gasps> it's... The gun from Gears of War. Okay. 
What? Okay, we'll uh, have to go test this in the next room. Hey guys! I hate furniture! Oh, darn, that was my helmet. Do I get that back every level, or do I just have, like, one free hit period all the time? Ever. That'd be very roguelike. That'd be very, like, the worst of roguelikes. Uh, so, uh, this, speaking of dumb things that I'm going to do that are ill-advised and I'm not prepared for... Mm-hmm. Oh, that's... Yeah, sorry, Chief, I didn't mean... Don't do that in a gun store, by the way. Um, if you ever go to a gun store, I've never not been to many, but I, I will tell you that it, it will go poorly for you. Uh, yes, I have a new gungeon here! Thank you, Louis Power, for showing up to the show. Uh, I have not actually, uh, have played the game a little bit. I am actually concealing the fact that I have three credits up in the minimap section. Oh, those only show up some of the time. Um... But yeah, I'm uh, checking this out as part of a series that I'm doing on roguelikes. Uh, this is kind of a technical test, because my sound might be off and terrible. Uh, it's not the blanks I'm curious about. It's actually the uh, helmet uh, for the marine. If I get that back every level, that'd be super nice. Um, I also haven't actually gotten very good at spotting where the hidden doors are. I don't know if I'm just super bad at the game, and therefore I haven't gotten far enough. Whoa! I gotta say, uh, I'm gonna do really dumb, dangerous things at this, because I really want to hit someone with an axe. And it looks like I can hit them with an axe. Wah! Oh, does it just knock them back? That makes me sad. I wanted to, like, fatality them. Oh, I don't get my helmet back. That does make me sad. I'm thinking, I have actually gotten a couple of levels into this before. Oh, interesting. The thing I like about the... Mm, I don't have enough keys, or any keys, really. Ooh, it can cut their bullets with the reload. That seems like a dangerous thing to do just to be cool. Which makes me wish that there were, like, style points in the game. Um, but one of my major criticisms of roguelikes as a whole is that they don't do persistence very well. Uh, they're one of the, like, few genres that actually began with the concept that, that the world is constant. Uh, that, that, that when you die, you die. Uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, to be said with that. Dark Souls is probably my favorite sort of roguelike inspired game, despite it being straightforward and, and not having random elements in it at all, being completely predictable. Uh, Dark Souls sort of takes the concept of when you die, you die, uh, and turns it into a mechanic that's actually interesting and brings difficult decisions to your day. So, Louise, are you a streamer as well, or are you a uh, watcher of streams, a, st a, st a streamster, which sounds like a terrifying union that owns the streaming world? I, I've never beaten these guys. I'm bad at dodging. chatter stops because it's no longer just stultifyingly easy to play the game. Take that, professional streamers. There's an amateur in here. <laughs> Can't read chat and murder the bosses at the same time. It helps if I could hit the broad side of the line. Hey, you. I'm dying. Did he drop teeth? Oh, what? You got life back. You're a total jerk. 
hate everything about you. Particularly the being angry thing. You've got anime angry symbol. You've got X's over your eyes. What does that mean? I don't understand the symbology of that. Oh, I get money. And, and you're dead. Dead. Do I have a pose? Damn. I get my helmet back. It's been refilled. What's this? Play well, get hearts. No, no, no. Okay. Aminomicon. Extra chance for heart on, on room clear. That's delightful! Oh. Well, I'm very sad to hear that your, uh, your cup got broken into. That's... That's really tough. Um, I'm actually going... I'm recording these uh, as well so that I can uh, edit, you know, like a front cap on. I was kind of inspired by the format of uh, Mario Maker Morning, Mornings with Patrick Klepek. Uh So I'm hoping to, to upload these to the YouTube channel with like the beginnings and ends clipped off or perhaps the section where I panicked at the beginning because the game didn't have sound. Um... They just put a lot of thought into... into the art of this damn game. Uh, I gotta agree with... That was a wall. I just... T take that wall, you're full of bullets. You do just have to move forward. And that's kind of like what I'm doing here. Uh, I used to be a developer of some renown. I've uh, quit my job. And uh, I'm not pro streaming because A, uh, you may notice that you're alone in the chat room. Welcome to the chat room. Uh, but also that, uh. Oh, what the. No, you're dead. Uh, that. Uh, I'm actually developing a roguelike at present. Uh, which is actually sort of the. That's. That can't be. That's so bad. I kind of found that this is an industry that treats you like garbage, unless you're your own boss, um, which is not too much of a shock. That's true of a lot of industries, possibly all of them. But uh, now I'm doing the my own boss thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really? I thought that guy was tough enough. I don't need to fight more guys. It's like it's the whole point of the game. Okay, do shotgun bats behave? Yes. Answer to your question, Trick. Shotgun bats behave differently. Um. So, uh. Bullet sharks. So, I'm gonna be streaming a bunch of different roguelikes uh, during the course of this, uh, including stuff that people wouldn't call roguelikes. You might have heard that monologue starting up. Um. Because I don't agree with what's called the Berlin Interpretation. Uh, this concept that, like, this wouldn't even count inside of the Berlin Interpretation. Uh, these game, these sort of rigid guidelines of major and minor factors which make a game a roguelike or not a roguelike. And uh, I think that it's uh, a lot simpler than that. I don't think it's the 20 goddamn guidelines or anything like that. Like, people talk about, like, oh, it needs to have ASCII art, it needs to be turn-based, it needs to be tactical. And, uh, like, the best ones aren't. And the best ones, like, even the very, very difficult ones, like, uh, Darkest Dungeon, have actually given up on a lot of what, what people were strictly saying roguelikes had to be. Um, and the reason is, is that essentially the, the Berlin interpretation... I know, I actually, I, I played Rogue, and actually, technically, I played NetHack back in the day, which was sort of like people describe as sometimes the original roguelike. Um, since rogue is not technically a roguelike, since it's the whole thing. But uh, I don't dig uh, a strong loyalty to what rogue was. Like, what makes the genre special is actually uh, death persistence, as I've called it. The, the, the concept that you the world is consistent, that when you die, you die. Like, uh, you only live once is the, the slogan of this podcast or this uh, live stream, because it's sort of a strict interpretation of it, but Duskers and, uh, 
and XCOM have it good because, like, when you lose, uh, you're dead, dead. Uh, your your guys are dead, or uh, but they're not. The the mission continues on, and so there's sort of a meta layer of really the thing that dies when you die inside of XCOM is the eventually the world, and there's no coming back from that if you're playing in Iron Man mode. So I haven't played, uh, I've never even heard of Alpha Man, uh, but I feel like I actually have played Tales of Magi way back in the day. I may have actually had to play it on DOSBox because it was post-Windows. I've been uh, planning to do a Dusker stream for a while because I think that it's, it like FTL, uh, have taken this sort of concepts of a roguelike to a totally different place. Uh, that I think is really good. Um, it kind of inspired me to, to develop games in that, very, in that similar ilk. Uh, I'm interested in seeing Everspace, if you've heard of it. Um, when it comes out, it is taking sort of a free space style space shooter and applying limited roguelike elements to it. curious to see what that's like, because it could be garbage. That could be, like, the worst idea ever. Uh, but it could be awesome. Uh, I'm hoping that it is. Uh, I had considered streaming Ziggurat for a while there. Um, but, uh, as it turns out, I... I don't like Ziggurat. Uh, why did I look at the chat as I walked into another room? Because you're saying things about Alpha Man and Grinch that up. Fuck it. Oh, I have heard of Alpha Man. Uh, shoot. It's been a while. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, who I game with when I used to live down in San Francisco and I gamed with in Los Angeles, actually worked on uh, Fallout 1 and 2. Uh, I think he just forked on Fallout 2. It's possible. I always forget. Um, and I think he talked about Alpha Man. That does sound fun. I like, so I've always loved the, the week-long counter. That's actually something I really like about, um... Invisible Link. Oh! I've got a key. I have... Blank damage up. Does what it says in the box? Huh. Huh. That sounds nice to have. So, I'll have to double check. I could be wrong about whether or not I've heard of Alpha Man. But, uh, somebody I think was talking... I think it was Jesse talking to me about it because uh, it was either inspired by or was an inspiration for sort of the reprint of Mutants, not Mutants and Masterminds, damn it. What is the the fourth edition post-apocalyptic game where you get random mutations uh, every encounter? Uh, this fourth edition D&D tabletop game. This is... I wish I had a squirt gun right now, because those rooms I found are actually really quite nice. Well, it ain't mutant, it's a mastermind, so I'll try to remember it later. What's the one I want to do? Oh, right, 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 yes, sir. I forgot that I shouldn't just go shooting guns in your establishment. Wind up gun. It worries me a great deal. Like, like reloading this is gonna suck. What? Oh, oh, this is weird. I can actually keep shooting and I'm out of bullets, but it's terrible all of a sudden. Oh, it's from Futurama. Of course it is. 
Uh, you know, at one health, this is not looking like it's going to be a very good run for me. No, 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 no! Oh, it actually is progressing the, uh... The Pop Goes the Weasel song. That's pretty clever. Uh, it does make me kind of wish that the reload where it actually goes Pop Goes the Weasel would actually have some sort of... I'll pass, thanks. Uh, special effect. Oh! I can earn extra hearts by not taking damage from boss fights. You learn something new every day. In the Gungeon. On YouTube Gaming. Oh. Well. Let's see how this goes. Hey, Bullet Bros. Twins. Trigger Twins. Well, fuck it. I'm actually curious how people who are actually fans of the mouse and keyboard uh, do with uh, that, because I've just been using Twin Stick because this game seems like it's just the perfect Twin Stick game. Nope. Nope. Cute. Really high rate of fire makes it run out of its special juice pretty quick. Goodbye, you're dead. Hey, why don't you get angry and get a whole bunch of health back? Jerk! Uh, I'd kind of assume the pilot's the best character. Uh, I've been playing with him a little bit, and uh, I think he's just space dandy, uh, which is not a bad thing in my book, because, well, fuck. I had him. The only bosses that isn't true, final boss that doesn't drop extra is King Blue Bolon. King Blubalon, maybe? Pronunciations is always like a problem in text. I'll have to check it out. Alright, if it's pilot I just did quick restart, didn't I? Okay, I'm gonna beat a boss this time. I'm gonna beat a boss. Then I'll, uh... Then I'll probably call it a day. I wonder... I should probably look it up, but how deep the lore of this game goes, like if there's some sort of like... I was really surprised when I played Powerful Boyfriend, because I played Powerful Boyfriend, uh, and uh, there was like a whole lot about the, the disease that made birds be big and smart, uh, and what society was like afterwards. Nope, nope. Ugh. Apparently, when I die, uh, in real life, I'm going to be making just a terrible burping sound as a response to some terrible shock. Oh! Yeah, I did that. Yeah, Zero lore. So I noticed that there's some stuff written in the item descriptions. I've always kind of assumed that they don't have any consistency, that it's just a lot of silly stuff for a silly game. Uh, but I also know that this game was in development forever, and that makes lore tend to bloat the moment anybody tries to write some. So it makes me curious. Uh, kind of similarly, I know that I think Duskers has like... Oh, zero. Interesting lore. Oh, sad times. That's like half of my uh, 
roguelike. I mean, so the the funny thing with the roguelike I'm developing is that it's uh, initially the first thing I'm making is uh, a visual novel engine for delivering the uh, lore. Because um, I want characters to have dialogue. Like I, my the big thing that I want to have happen is that people organically develop a proto man who is their kind of Mega Man style player surrogate enemy. Um, I want them to do that of their own will and to have a rivalry with them, not just because uh, the game told you to, but because you really kind of genuinely build an enmity against the guy. Um, in order to do that, I need you to have short conversations with people and actually choosing to to respond to them in some significant way. I really do need to just buy this. Yeah, I know it's an excellent choice. I should have bought armor. The Lich! The Lich is the creator of the dungeon. I want to see his phylactery, which I assume is a gun. He's got horcruxes. Uh, the horcruxes are uh, going to be uh, five of six bullets inside of the chamber of a gun and Harry Potter. Ah, it's a bat. You know, I'm not impressed with the shotgun. Like, sometimes I am, and I just run around spending the whole fight with this lady with her shock. Mmm, silver shock. Mmm, mm, no. Okay, no, no, that doesn't make any sense. Vote of confidence doesn't tell me anything, game. That's odd. Voting is cool. You... It doesn't do anything. It's just like real voting. That was... that was a grim thought. Oh, they take three. No, no. You do a lot of kiting in this game. Hey, can you destroy the, uh... Thanks, bye. No. It takes water. Let's see, where do I need to go? Wait, ballot is an amazing item? What does it do? It doesn't say that it does anything. Ugh, now I'm gonna get further in the dungeon. I just saw the SIGs at the store. Now I've killed Bullet King before, um, and that's not an easy thing. Trick says, unaware of the fact that he's probably the easiest boss in the game. Does he not take my own fire damage? Oh, fucking fuck. <laughs> oh! Sigs do sound good then. Huh. Okay. We'll do the pilot. Who really looks a lot like Space Dandy. Hopefully at some point I'm actually going to get my wife on the stream and we will critique the uh, interior decoration of the spaces as... Oh, he's immune to fire. Of course. Um, but also, uh, generally a good commentary just from the two of us actually trying to co-op it through this thing.
for no reason. Uh, so Luis, what uh, ch channel do you stream on? Just Luis Prower? Like your uh, username, or do you actually stream on Twitch mostly? That can't be good. No, 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 I hate you. I hate you too. And I hate that grenade. Oh, I love you, grenade. Oh, you didn't kill any of your friends. I hate you, grenade. Well, I will probably occasionally stream under my actual username, Trick Dempsey. Uh, however, this is the uh, the channel for uh, my website, uh, CrookedDumble.com, a uh, blogging and writing collective, uh, as well as a game developer that my wife and I run. Uh, we publish no games uh, at this time. However, I myself have worked on Red Dead Redemption and Defiance and Max Payne 3 and GTA 5 and that kind of thing. Same old, same old, really. I've become a praise of Unity. 16k sub! <laughs> That's a lot of subscribers, dude. I think, probably. I don't actually know what the economy of this particular system is. This. has six shots in it. Is it just awesome in a reference to uh, Clint Eastwood? Uh, should I go to the store? Not yet. Well, it might be a bit. I'm definitely going to have a... Uh, oh. Uh, the uh, first game we actually produce is going to be uh, essentially a backstory visual novel for one of the locations in the game. Because uh, my, uh... I'm building a side-scrolling roguelike, actually. Um, so a sort of side-scrolling brawler if Smash Bros and a dungeon crawler were to, like, make hideous evil babies together. Uh, and that takes some significant time. Uh, not least of which because I'm primarily a designer and less of a programmer, even though I've been a programmer before. But it takes time, and uh, probably going to do a Kickstarter uh, to get uh, more animations into the game, because animations are expensive to produce. Oh, I can try my item! Uh, Cape Blazers is actually on my- that was a- Cape Blazers is actually on my list! Um, so I'm going to probably be playing that uh, soon. Hopefully it is not uh, super incredibly amazingly good, because then I'll just be wasting my time. Huh. Well, that went swimmingly. Oh! It's always sad when a good game just crashes too damn often. Oh, hello, Bullet King. It's good to see you again, and by good I mean you're really tough. What the? F Why did I use a reload there? Bye, 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 die. Oh, he's... I think he died of constipation, and that's kind of sad-looking. Huh. 
Do you know if it's particular god? Now I'm trying to guess uh, what's wrong with somebody else's game. I'll have to check it out. My system is relatively stable, so uh, it normally doesn't crash on things. Although I might... No, I'm using an NVIDIA card, so it's relatively safe. Um, I'm actually a bigger fan of ATI, it's just I've been having some trouble with the uh, cards crashing on things. Because people aren't really developing for ATI specifically anymore. Um, which is really what... Oh! Oh, I think I like Mr. Freeze's stupid gun. Oh. Huh. are a real pain, um, and I'm certain I'm going to create some uh, when I make my game. I'm trying to be good. Luckily I'm using Unity and it's got pretty decent memory management, really. Uh, like as far as a record goes. No, 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 no. Hey, bad guys, come on. I'm doing fine. Yeah, I've noticed that the roll is kind of, uh, I think it may just be 8-directional instead of being the omnidirectional, sort of the rest of the actions of the game. Uh. <laughs> I'm pleased with too many dumb things in the game. Anyway, I guess that's what it's there for. Uh, no, I'll try to block. <sighs> Eat everything about you. I bet I could put a gun on this. One of these buttons drops a gun. God, one of these buttons drops a gun. Oh, I do need a specific item? Well, now I'm still kind of curious what drop gun hold. F4G. Oh, I haven't made a button for it. Oh no! No, 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 no! Bye. What's gonna make me sad is I've no longer got this uh, streaming setup hooked up to my PlayStation 4, and this game always makes me want to play Helldivers. Why didn't I? Hmm. No idea what that is. That looks cool. I don't think I can afford the scrambler, can I? Over here, I'm gonna take a shot. It's it's an egg gun. Oh my god, it's an egg gun. Okay, I have to go find a boss and murder it with a with the egg gun.
Oh, a blood sacrifice to the altar. Sure. Now I'm stronger. Oh my god, it took away a max heart. I've uh, made some terrible mistakes. Did, is it releasing horrible murder chicks? Nope. Okay, the scrambler makes me always try the lockpick. Oh. Yeah. One of my signature uh, high pitch whining sounds. That gun is no. This is insane. That's a uh, an awesome gun. It's got a little bit of uh, delayed gratification there, but it is delicious. Mm -hmm. Get them, my little chicklets. I needed it to shoot a little bit faster. Okay. Huh? Huh? What? That was easy. Nothing to worry about. Never a doubt. Hmm. Ow! That was dumb. I walked. I walked right into that bullet. Okay. It's time. It's a beholder. Oh god. Oh, it's a oh. What the f Oh, I know how to deal with that. I except for only if I actually do deal with it. Technically, I guess I did defeat a boss when I said I would, but I nearly defeated two bosses when I said I would. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you, Louise. I will have to check out your channel. Uh, please do subscribe to the Crooked Thimble, uh, a page which still has no descriptions, and I'm actually a little surprised it's public. <laughs> uh, I am going to exit the game, go to Big Faces for a bit... Uh, and, uh, see what I can do. I see that I can link to you. Rad, well, thank you very much. You're probably my first subscriber. If you're not, I'm stunned. Uh, anyway, I will try to do this again on Thursday, probably around the same bat time. I'm going to try to start at 3 every day. Uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, that is. Uh, because that's when my roommate leaves and you won't hear wrestling. Uh, although, wrestling ain't bad. Uh, thank you very much. Uh... I will uh, catch you on the flip side. Thank you, Luis.